we have unfortunate news this is courtesy of brighton pride and obviously an indication that quite possibly Notting Hill Carnival isn't going to happen this year. So this is going to say Brian Pride. It says Brian and Hove Pride 2020 update. We are heartbroken to have announced that the cancellation of Brian and Hove uh, Pride's community parade, the Brighton Village Parade and the Pride Festival on Saturday the 7th and Sunday the 8th of August. So this is August dates are already being cancelled. Um, and I think... I think carnivals around the same time. So if this is if this is it for that, then Jesus. Um, we know that the need for community has never been stronger, and Brighton Hove Pride is one of the Europe's biggest Pride festivals, attracting thousands of popular to thousands of people across the UK to attend um, multiple events across the city, including the Pride LGBTQ plus community parade. Delivering the Pride requires an all year round planning cycle, working with closely with our partner agencies. And while the vaccine rollout continues to be successful, many uncertainties that need to be resolved to safely deliver a mass gatherings and the complexities of organizing Pride in our city are impossible to achieve in the time that we have. So based on the best information available to us, we are heartbroken to have to cancel the first second year. We cannot risk the health and the safety of our private visitors and residents and hundreds of staff and volunteers that help deliver pride you can read the full announcement there what it means for you you can roll over your ticket donate apply for a refund so obviously heartbreaking news for everybody that wanted to go to pride and again like i said this is a probably pretty much a guarantee that not Hill carnival isn't going to be on this year i don't actually see how they can put on not Hill carnival if they can't put on pride um which is concerning i think i was definitely going to go to not Hill carnival this year i haven't been in a while um it's usually one of our better sort of you know uh open air sort of festival party things that we have here in london um usually the vibe is strong i would imagine after this entire time of lockdown the vibe would have been absolutely electric i would have definitely ended up going both days even though it's an absolute trek for me to go there so that plan is probably out the window unless they decide to somehow say i don't know we're gonna make it smaller or something but it looks like anything big anything with a huge group of people um it's just not gonna happen in a way that we want it to happen anymore and it looks like if there is a festival that's on at the moment especially during this the tail end of the vaccine rollout usually everyone that's putting it on they're putting it on despite um having assurances that they're gonna get any sort of coverage in terms of insurance so if you are going to an event you should be really grateful that the event is on because it looks like a lot of people are basically out of pocket if they have, if for some reason a third fourth wave happens which touch which it, it doesn't um it looks like a lot of these people are taking a real calculated risk that things are going to be okay by putting their event on in general so if you're definitely going to something some sort of june 21st party or anything onwards just save at the moment behave as well as you can look after your friends look after strangers who are near you and just kind of make the best of the situation because it looks like the bigger events just haven't got a prayer of making them work maybe it's because they don't want to encourage people for travel because if you read a statement it did say oh we have people traveling from all over the uk but really and truly there are people traveling all over from, from the europe i think brighton pride barcelona pride and what's the other one there's another really big one maybe madrid i don't know which one it is but maybe there's big ones right that people within the lgbt community kind of have in their calendar that they go to every single year so i'd imagine if they put it on in august they can't not guarantee they're going to have an influx of people coming in from other places in europe to come and go to the event so they don't want to encourage people to do so so they'd rather just kind of lock it off which is a little bit doesn't make that much sense because you'd imagine you'd imagine there'd be a lot of people who are going to travel from parts of europe especially if their places are still closed yeah june 21st because i saw loads of flyers of people for june 21st dates and they had uh people from traveling over from berlin traveling over from other parts of europe so for sure people are gonna decide to come over here to party and stuff that's definitely gonna happen so if that's gonna happen why not just have these events anyway but i'm assuming it's more so an assurance thing local you know council regulations red tape all this malarkey there's a lot of issues that probably go towards um the reason why they probably couldn't put it on but definitely a bad omen for notting hill carnival um i don't think it's going to happen if it does happen then fair play but if it does happen then of course like i said be on your best behavior man because you don't want to get these things taken away because it does look like some of these events are just not guaranteed the way that we think they are